This is the VOA Special English Development Report. The Nobel Peace Prize for 2006 was awarded earlier this month to economist Mohammed Yunus and his Bangladeshi microfinance organization, the Grameen Bank. The bank lends small amounts of money to poor people, especially women, who are unable to get traditional loans. Mr. Yunus says he started Grameen because he wanted to see if banking could be done without collateral. Collateral, such as property or investments, secures the repayment of traditional loans. The Grameen Bank, however, does not ask for guarantees or repayment in land or other property if the borrower is not able to repay the loan. A person's promise to repay the loans is all that is needed. No one is rejected for a loan. This trust has resulted in a near-perfect loan repayment rate during the bank's 30-year history. Since Grameen's launch in 1976, the idea of microfinancing for the poor has spread to other countries. In the United States, for example, small loan programs are serving poor Native Americans living on protected land. Farming communities and poor city areas have also seen a rise in microfinancing organizations. The Seattle nonprofit group Washington Cash is one example. This group provides small loans to single mothers, refugees, and former criminals. Today, the Grameen Bank has about 6 million borrowers in 70,000 villages throughout Bangladesh. 97% of the loans go to poor women. An average loan equals less than $100. The bank expects to provide more than $800 million in loans this year. In addition, the bank gives about 30,000 financial awards to poor students each year. Worldwide, the Grameen Foundation has established relationships with 52 partners in 22 countries. Millions of people in Africa, Central and South America, and the Middle East have received assistance. Mr. Yunus says he believes credit should be considered a human right. He says money is power. The economist believes poverty would end if the world could create a system of credit for poor people. And that's the VOA Special English Development Report, written by Jill Moss. To read the text of this program and download audio, go to voaspecialenglish.com. I'm Steve Ember.